All right, so greetings. Uh, do not. This is this is Skyrim. Do not go gentle. Episode twenty, and the night finds us <coughs> in Morthal, hunting the horn of Jurgen Windcaller. Uh, so you know, we just got our shout, of course, and we went to the Greybeards, and I've cleared this out as much as possible. Um, I do actually need to go get this mace at some point with the scroll. I think I think that would be good. And I can clear out this miscellaneous, but eh, I'm good for now with the miscellaneous. I'm just going to ignore this. Um, but I did try to make this smaller because this always drives me nuts if I have 38 quests sitting in there. Like, I don't know why, but it drives me nuts a little bit. So, but anyway... Um, we have the Horn of Jürgen Windcaller, and that's going to take us into a Draugr tomb with some traps. Uh, so, should be, I'm going to be, I'm going to be a little bit overconfident here and say that this should not be too big an issue because we have shown that uh, Draugr are starting to sort of fall by the wayside in terms of. Uh, you know, our, our fear of them. So let's uh, see how it goes. It's right up here in Ustengrav. And so we're just going to head north out of Morthal. I will get a bow out. And I am, let's, I, I make sure I am carrying, I'm carrying, the, yeah, the cool hunter backpack. That's cool. Okay. The harbinger of the companions, huh? Don't take that lightly, Fane. It's a great honor. So I've not been out this way at all, so I assume there's a couple random encounters, uh, sort of, that are going to come at us here. I don't know why, but I feel compelled to pick up the fishing spot. Oh, there's a, an evil mud crab fighting something. Oh, spider. Well, the spider is definitely more evil. There we go. All right. So those two things are dead. I never understood why they don't just drink blood from bandits. It makes life easy for everyone. Huh. Oh, okay, okay, Lid. <laughs> Shrine of Mafala discovered. Whoa. Whoa. Maybe today I'll try something new. That is like a vegetable or something. Wow, that is cool freaking beans. What what powers what crazy shit does that or, or can you not Health is increased by twenty five. Actually, as shrines go, that's a that's a good one. <laughs> Strangely enough, Mafala has quite the bitch in shrine. Uh, I am going to put Unrelenting Force currently on. Do I have a shrine? Blessing of Tall Papa is 10% more experience, which I actually don't know how that's working for us. Let's try Shrine of Mephala. And we're up to 280, so I think we got... 25 more experience, uh, 25 more health. So I'm going to stick with that for now. I mean, obviously not a good deity or anything. So we should, we should probably worry about the state of our everlasting soul a tiny bit more. <laughs> but 25 health, man. Oh, a Charis Hunter. That actually makes me a little nervous. Of course, these things are not paying attention. And a deer. Okay. <laughs> ah, deer. Um... What the hell does a Charis Hunter have on it? Charis Chitin and Venomous Spittle. I mean, I'll take the Spittle maybe to sell, but eh, I mean, I'm not, not super concerned at the moment. 
there seems to be a dungeon over here. Maybe we'll touch it. Nope, didn't didn't get the draw. Um, all right, take that. So quick loot. Oh, he has good stuff, so that's cool. And we ought to do at some point some random dungeon action. The collapsed burial ground discovered. Uh, okay. Can you get in here at all, I wonder? Probably not, right? Nothing great. You would think with how wet it is, anything underground would be sort of a mess, right? I do like... Oh, uh oh, uh oh, oh, jeez. That ain't cool. The dodge is really helpful against, like, Necromans. Or, like, the, those uh, ice moves. Like, those slow-moving uh, nuke clouds they fire. Ah, uh, so good. We'll take those two things. And uh, open novice lock. Not super useful in terms of me because I don't have um, I don't have alteration. But eh, you know, and I can open novice locks. Darn it. So we have found Ustengrav. Okay. They had a nice little thing going here. Oh, and a lot of dead guys too. Like not some, something didn't go well here. Something didn't go well. More ha ha ha. Uh, more skooma. All right, let's save up here. And let's head in. And we're going to uh, uh, fight Ustengrav here. We are almost to level 19. I do think that I, I, I'm pretty sure that's as high as I've ever gotten in, in Witch McCall. And we do need to recapture some cash because we have um, we have spent a bunch of money. We bought Breeze Helm. There we go. There's our stealth kicking in. Um, we bought Breeze Home in White Run to just have a quick place to dump our crap um, and sell, as opposed to having to run out of town. Um, so literally, I'm buying a chest for all intents and purposes in Breeze Home. Uh, this guy had a lot of crap. Like I like the occasional guy where you're like, man, that, that was the rich one. How did how did all these dudes let that one guy? Have all the credit. He's got dwarven armor. I'm going to give that to... I mean, the fighters may already have... That's Hilda. That's, that's, that's the wrong... So we're going to turn Hilda off, turn Lydia and Gore on. 
And I'm going to give Lydia the Dwarven armor in case she wants it, and the Orcish plate boots, and the silver armor, and she can figure out if she wants any of that. Okay. Uh, and there's a book. Yay. And we are heading into the rest of Ustengrund here. Stick with fire for now. A conjurer. We'll take um, the obvious crap, but we'll leave. Oh, jeez. Okay, that is just ridiculous. Whatever... All right. Whoa. Whoa. That dude was all over us. And the Draugr. Nuked both my uh, my guys. Um, now I'll take the spell, uh, the spell tomes, even though... Well, Blackbriar Mead. And they're having like a party, man. They're they they were all in. They're like <laughs> it's like they got the Bud Light, uh, <laughs> and they're we got the Bud Light, and we are killing Draugr. I do like these healing potions, so I have a lot of healing potions right now. Um. Um, oh, more healing potions. Oh, oh fortify. I will take a, a book, just because, even though it's my restoration is six. Wow, okay. Um, never going to have restoration, of course. Uh, we would like to get north. No, we are in the wrong spot. We need to go this way. And then somewhere there is a north door. There we go. And then... No? There's an exit. Uh, is there a handle, or is this a Bethesda shortcut out once we've completed everything? I think that's the shortcut out once we've completed everything. So let's head the other... Let's head back. Let's head the other direction. And see what we've missed here. we go. Okay. Got, got mentally caught up in those side rooms there, when in reality, you're just supposed to go straight. I mean, we're doing 400 plus damage to the Draugr. That's pretty good, I would say. We'll let him take care of those guys. Oh, we just shot right into the Witch McCall. Nope, shot into the post again. Not very hockey of me. Okay. Right, and... 
should be at least careful. One high level Draugr is all it takes to start rocking the uh, the shells. Wow, more health potions. <laughs> I mean, this place is just filled with health. Everybody's dead here. <laughs> so there's an irony to it. We got health potions. If only we had the health. And ruin books. So we're in Usengra Depths. And we are sporting... Mm hmm You guessed it. Instant coffee. So... If I recall, there's a ton of these guys, like... All right. I think we just set Lydia on fire. And then there's a bunch of dudes which aren't going to get to us right away that we can sort of take out. Okay. Uh, oh, there's a guy right below us, too, and he's an archer, so... All the better to kill because... Of all these guys, the archers are the ones that are the most dangerous to me. Because Gore and Lydia will mostly keep the melees off me for at least some time. But those bowmen can be doing hundreds of damage just all of a sudden. All right. Can I hit him too? Don't worry, buddy. We got some for you too. All right, I can zoom in too. That's true. There we go. Uh, I do not see the last one. Right, they're up there. Eh, I might be out of range. I, I am not out of range, which is hilarious. Maybe we drew him down? It might not be worth this super long distance sniping. I mean, it's safe as crap, though. It just might take forever. Let's 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 start considering what it's going to take to head down there, guys. Oh, oh he's a shouter. <laughs> he, he, that's a shouter. Are these guys behind me for real? Oh, man. man, he just knocked him right off of there. That was pretty funny. All right. All right. Whew. Okay. I liked my side dodge on the bridge. I thought that was actually okay. <laughs> it was, that was about as skillful as I was ever going to get here. I thought, I thought, eh, you know.
Let's recast while we're sitting here thinking about it. Um, is there any reason to go back here? Really? I don't think they'll... Uh, for a health potion, sure. All right, for a couple health potions, actually. Hilda's going to have a lot of health potions to carry. <laughs> She's like, oh, God, really, dude? All right, so we go here. We come down here. We head straight across. And this is the other side of the bridge. Oh, geez. Okay, so... Or is it a different... That's a different bridge, isn't it? So there are actually two... Yes, yeah, so there are two bridges across. We're now going down the second one. And this one is going to let us down into the rest of the chamber. That's a shouter, by the way. Yep. Oh, I knew it, and I knew it, and I was on the dodge button, and I did not get there. Did not get there at all. Uh, let me take a quick heal just in case. Okay. A little surprised I missed that. Let them cap him. Pull that. That theoretically opens this, right? No, maybe? What about that one? Yeah, okay, cool. Let's go in here real quick to collect all the healing potions, which I am due. Uh, soul gem too, which is nice. Um, I do wish I could enchant my equipment. <laughs> I, do, I, feel, I do miss that. Like, that aspect of the game I always enjoy having access to. I like turning soul gems into stat buffs, effectively, right? Okay. Uh, nothing up here. But there is... But we are getting closer to... Can we hit him? We can hit that guy. And like I said, my main worry is that an archer, a random archer, comes and starts plugging me. Uh, come on, guy. No, okay. We know that guy will come to life, because I've seen him come to life before. So, not, not, yep, not a far stretch to just gun him down when we, oh, there's the archer. Why is this skeleton running from me? <laughs> I thought you had no fear. You were undead. Oh, shit. Crap, 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 crap. All of a sudden... All of a sudden, I need to heal. And I can't see the enemy... Oh, there he is. Hey, buddy. Oh, you got me, too. You landed right. There we go. Okay. Are there more over here? Or are we done with these guys? No, oh, he just disappeared. Oh, no, we still got him. Can we kill him from here? Yes, we can. All right. Oh, Jesus.
<laughs> you know, it's not the fights that are problematic. Uh, God dang. Sorry about that. Um, there really wasn't... There wasn't a great reason... I didn't need to jump there. <laughs> I, I felt like I, there was like a little hitch in, in my input. And this is going to sound like an excuse, and it totally is. So so I would call bullshit on me instantly. Um, so what happened I, was I felt a little hitch in my input and thought I was stuck on the terrain, and so I jumped. And presumably that had nothing to do with anything. Not too, too bad. I mean, this first level guy can just suck it here a little bit. Oop, we shot Gore in the back. Okay, guys, can you get out of the fire? That would be cool. Fire bad. Okay. All right, so let's get into Stealth Crouch here. We will kill that first gob of skeletons, right? Okay, Gore. Standing in front of the bowman is typically considered bad form. I think these guys are immune to sneak attacks. Undead, generally. One of the reasons stealth is considered sub sub uh, optimal is that you're you're not sneak attacking any undead. And since a lot of the high level enemies are indeed undead, like dragon priests and so on. Again, just pegging these bowmen is useful in terms of not not suffering their later wrath. One, two, three. Should be able to pop him. Yep, okay. Not exciting, so I apologize. I mean, I could just fall and die off the cliff if, if that would entertain you. <laughs> Uh, oh my god, that was terrible, by the way. That was dumb. Uh, that that That's the tiniest bit embarrassing. I mean, to some degree, that really is part of the show is to be embarrassed, right? Like that that is Okay. Why don't we head on down now? So many of these dudes. All right. Um, I say you're fairly competent at this point, but I'm huh. still be agreeing. Oh my God! Lydia just said I was fairly competent. <laughs> Whoa! Hold the hell on. 
That's like high praise. Like I That is high goddamn praise right there. Uh, we got the two that pop out. And he's like first level, so... I might just watch that show. Uh, so we're gonna pull this lever. And this lever. Get the potions and the potions and the thing. And then we're going to save once we pick this chest. What do you think? I think that's a good idea. I think that's a good idea. We, we will not have to do that part again. There's nothing in there. All right. Nothing up here, if I recall. Troll skull. But down here, there is there is more stuff to fight. More skeletons to skell. Um, I mean, we might have killed most of them. Maybe? No? Yes? There, there's, uh, there's the, the. I remember the first time he re I ever saw that guy. He was, he was a little. That was a little. You know, it was one of those disconcerting, right? Oh, hey, it's a Bowman. Okay. Um, he's still, he's up there. There's one up there. Is he a bow guy? It seems he is a bow guy, of course. And this is literally the worst place for me to be fighting that guy. But there we go. We can, we can take him this way. There we go. Okay, so, done. Um, is there any, is there, do we go this way? Yes, this is the magical door. All right, dead, I think. So this is where we need to use Whirlwind Sprint. So let's switch to it. So as you run up, you will light the gates, right? And then those all, boom, and then they fall quickly enough to make that. So we're going to sprint and then run through. There we go. And then we will teleport Lydia and Gore here. There we go. And now it's spider time. Okay, so... Ugh. So the thing is, everything's on fire here. Potentially. Like, the whole floor will jet flame. And it sucks quite a bit. And there's spiders everywhere, so... Yep. Gosh darn it, that's that's quite the... Um... I 
I mean, for the most part, I'm going to try to let them come to me, I suppose. But I wish I wish we had better. Wish we could get these guys here. They're on fire, of course. And tell them to wait, maybe? He's stuck. I do like that. I don't mind you being stuck. I'll go right into the... Oh, yeah. Mm, cooked. That's got to be the worst smell, like burning insect. Ugh. Oh, yeah. Oh, shit. No, 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 no. Um, get your butts in here, boys and girls, because we, um... Oh, crap. God, that was horrible. Okay. All right, you guys stop waiting. Got got a ton of poison in me. <laughs> got a ton of poison in me. I, I have a fortify health too, but I do have a ton of poison. Let's just uh, get rid of these webs. And we got a door. And what looks to be... Maybe a final chamber of sorts? Oh, yeah. By the arena. That's impressive. That is sort of impressive. I'll give I'll give Gore that. That was cool. And what do we got here? We got a graybeard hood, graybeard robes. Uh, sort of garbagey, right? I mean, ultimately. Got some dead Draugr. And the horn, most notably, is gone. Note from a friend. Meet whoever took the horn. <sighs> All right. We'll do that. So it looks like we got... At least one more thing to do. Someone's left us a bunch of cash. Oh, and a lot on the floor, too. A lot, of, a lot of just coins in an adept chest. I mean, I think we'll pop this chest. We don't have too many more scrolls. We have two. You've got to be kidding me. I'm going to have to regret making someone take that horn. Yeah. I'm thinking the same thing. They seem to know who you are, which probably means they aren't very smart. <laughs> what? Well, that's... That's, again, uncool of... So we have steel plate gauntlets of major archery. I mean... Not, not, I mean, you know, not, not super useful in the scheme of things. For me, because I'm not wearing steel play gauntlets. It's good to be traveling again. And we are out of stamina. Why are we out of stamina? Uh, poison, maybe? Maybe the poison ran us out of stamina. And we should be back in that room. Yeah, this is where that room dumps out. Okay. And now we are mostly just heading out. So that was Ustengrav. 
Not too bad, actually. Uh, there were a couple uh, a couple moments, obviously, where we had to heal up, um, and we died once. That was mostly us. That was that was that wasn't Sill's fault. That was that was my fault. I, I take responsibility for that one. She did fine. I sucked. Okay, so um, where are we going? I suppose I'm going to say we should So they want us to meet them, meet with whoever took the horn. That is in Sleeping Giant Inn in Riverwood. Uh we have a little bit of time left here. We'll get Hilda Hilda coming to us too. So let's get back at the very least, get back to Morithal. There's a cave on the way, maybe. I don't know. Maybe we maybe we do a little cave action. I don't know. Let's see. More oh no, no. Nope, nope. That guy's like a level 100 and something vampire. <laughs> no. Hey, hell no. I mean, maybe between Lydia and Gore, we might be able to put a dent in him, but 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 not a big enough dent and, and probably still would end up dead. Um, along with one or more of my companions. So we're going to let Morvarth do his thing for now, still a little longer. Okay, so. Um... Where are you going, buddy? So here's the thing. We can get to Riverwood real real quick and easy. So let's do it. Uh, towns. Nope. Back. Villages. Riverwood. 200 bucks. Done. And we are going to go to Riverwood and we're going to talk to the mysterious Delphine who stole the horn. Duh, Delphine. Hey, there's horse. What's up, buddy? Well, I actually have... I don't think I picked anything up, except for these steel plate gauntlets of Major Archery. I, I think I picked Jack all up. So there you go. There's a lot of dark elves in Skyrim nowadays. We are not yet level 19, so sleeping... Eh. But there's Delphine. So, hey, Delphine. Yep, I am that visitor. I'd like to rent the attic room. Well, we don't have an attic room. But you can have the one on the left. Make yourself at home. You never get tired of the sight of the sun rising behind Dragon's Reach. Um, I'll have to read about the Great War. And sure, I'll stay here for an hour and maybe she'll come get me. No, I don't know. Um, what is my current thing there? I've been a farm in the plains here, but I wanted to be like my parents and become a soldier. Now let's take a long snooze. See if Delphine shows up like we we gave her the code phrase we met her in the attic room that was supposed to do something i think a mercenary they were 
somewhat supportive. No, yes. We got rooms. You're that visitor been poking too. around. I cook. Ain't much else to tell. What does the note say? Rent the attic room and I'll meet you, a friend. Okay, well, I rented the goddamn attic room. My business to keep track of strangers. Okay, well, uh, can we? The giants won't hurt you if you stay away from them, but they usually have a lot of gold stashed in their camps. Gods know what they do with it. Can she not get to me because of Hilda? That would be the funny part. There's always a good moment between when a foe sees you and when they're enough to hit you. So you're the dragon. There we go. Yeah, that was it. Hilda was in the way. <laughs> uh, hey, we got the horn. And we are stuck on the goat. So Delphine has given us the horn. Good to help Thorald. The Thalmor are the enemies of both sides. Close the door. Now we can talk. I'm stuck on Delphine. Not a warrior, are you? Thanks, uh, Lydia. Thanks. At some point, if you'd like, it has me somewhat concerned. We got the Book of the Dragonborn, a whole two XP. Sweet. Uh, so we talked to Delphine. Hello, Delphine. The Greybeards seem to think you're the Dragonborn. I hope they're right. I am there so the Dragonborn. You're the one who took the horn? I guess I'm getting pretty good at my harmless innkeeper act. Uh, what's with all the cloak and dagger? Thalmor spies are everywhere. Thalmor are jerks. Indeed. They, they really are. What do you want with me? I to all this trouble on a whim. I needed to make sure it wasn't a Thalmor trap. I am not your enemy. I already gave you the okay. horn. I'm and we believe her. To help you. I just need you to hear me out. I'll explain what I want when I want. Got it? You'd already be dead if I didn't like the look of you when you walked in here. But I had to know if the rumors about you were true. I'm part of a group that's been looking for you. Well, someone like you, for a very long time. If you really are a dragonborn, that is. Before I tell you any more... Okay, sure. Uh, why are you looking for a dragonborn? Most don't. That the dragonborn is the ultimate dragon. We are the ultimate dragon slayer. The one that can kill a dragon permanently by devouring... By eating its soul. Now that... Sounds a little badass, frankly. Like if you were, you know, if you were trying to, let's see. I, I wish it was centered more in my camera. Like that would be. Anyway, um, yes. This is no time to play the reluctant hero. Oh, you bet. Okay, yes. Aren't dragonborn, but I'll see for myself soon enough. Uh, what's part you're not telling me? They're coming back to life. They weren't gone somewhere for all these years. They were dead, killed off centuries ago by my predecessors. Now something's happening to bring them back to life. There you go. I need you to help me stop it. What makes you think dragons are coming back to life? Because they're mound, because their graves are dug up, right? Let's do it. We're going to go there, and you're going to kill that dragon. If we succeed, I'll tell you anything you want to know. Um, yes. Grove. There's an ancient dragon burial near there. If we can get there before it happens, maybe we'll learn how to stop it. I know that, Mound. We should get moving. There's no time to wait. Let's go kill a dragon. Give me a minute and I'll be ready. That's better. Let's get on the road to Kynes Grove. Okay, so that's it. We are heading to Kynes Grove.
And there will be some dragon kill in here. Um... We'll go back to Unrelenting Force. I don't think Werewolf is going to help me kill a dragon because being in melee with a dragon, not a good scene, unless you are unkillable like Delphine is. <laughs> I, I am killable, so I'm not going to do that. Um, so I think we're going to play... I think we're going to play it safe, stick back. Uh, I don't know what kind of dragon this is. But we can fast travel to Kynes Grove, so that's sort of nice. Or can we? What? Okay, back. Towns? It's not a city. God dang it. All right, where where is Kynes Grove? So Kynes Grove is super close to Windhelm. So it looks like Windhelm is actually where we're going to head. So let's head to Windhelm. Let's do this. Let's let's kill us a dragon. See if we can't kill ourselves a dragon. Oh man. And the nice thing is, we're going to save here cuz I don't see her, so I don't I'm hoping we haven't messed the quest up in some weird way. I'll pick fire first. Um, we're going to just pop it south here. There's the mound. There's the darn dragon. Maybe we'll save right there. And see if we can't get the hell up there. Uh, I know I can just go around, but I'm too lazy. Strangely enough, I'm too lazy to go around. Like, that's the... So the problem that I have Oh my, oh my. Wow, it's just coming right at me. It's not even, it hasn't even, um... Okay, Hilda, babe, you, you need to be away. Uh, do we have a poison? Uh, poison a weakness to fire, which is sort of funny, but I'm gonna do it. Oh, holy crap, that, that sucks right there. Like, I don't like that at all. Let's cast. And we'll be fire, since, um, you know, he seems to... And we can't... It... Go get him, Hilda. We're not doing bad damage. Um, the main danger is simply as soon as he turns on us, that is that's bad. Yep. So we need to keep something between us and him as best we can at all times. 
dodge out of the way when we have to. And keep good track of his location. There we go. Keep going. Keep going. Headshots. I think we beat Delphine here. Yeah, firing. Oh, okay, let's not let's not get cocky. <laughs> let's not. He could end us with pretty much one one fell swoop. I'm pretty sure one concerted breath, and he ends us. We're doing 200 plus points a crack, so I am definitely not unhappy with that. And I don't know who he's pissed off at down there, but that is making me happy because that is making my life easy, er. We don't seem to be setting him on fire, which is depressing. But if we're going to do 200 points per, I, I, th I don't think I mind. Come on, come on, come on. Yeah, he is probably killing a ton of guards. I'm sorry, guards. Oh, yeah, he just bit someone in half. I mean, yeah, it's, it's all bad. But he is bloodied. Now, what we're hoping is, is that our trusty companions are not... I don't know who he's biting. Oh... I think that's Gorda. I see Gorda on there, though. Oh, yeah, we just leveled up because we killed him. Come on. I've been wanting a closer look at one of these buggers. Wait, something's happening. God's above. God's above. All right, we did it. I mean, that wasn't bad at all. That was definitely way easier than the original cell fight. Um. I am a little bit of Dragonborn. That is a lot of weight, but we can actually carry it, so that's sort of interesting. Let's talk to Delphine. I owe you some answers, don't I? You do. Go ahead. Whatever you want to know. Oh, this this angle is killing me, Delphine, by the way. All right, hold, hold on. Let's, let's do this at this angle. There we go. Go ahead. Whatever you want to know. Uh, who are you and what do you want with me? She's one of the last members of the Blades. A very long time ago, the Blades were Dragon Slayers. And, we served and of course, the Blades are like the Emperor's force, but they're really not just the Emperor's bodyguards. They are Dragon Slayers. That's what we learn here. Now that dragons are coming back, our purpose is clear again. And so we need to stop them. You smell that. Not a damn thing. I was just as surprised as you to find that big black dragon here. Seen that dragon before. Where? He was the one who attacked Helgen. Same dragon. And freed me and your, yeah, your yeah. Mm -hmm. whole thing. We need to figure out who's behind it all. I can't help but one all right, what's our next move? We need to do is figure out who's behind the dragons. The Thalmor are our best lead. If they aren't involved, they'll know who is. Uh, what makes you think the Thalmor bring the dragons back? They, they don't seem that competent. The Empire had captured Ulfric. The war was basically over. Then a dragon attacks, Ulfric escapes, and the war is back on. And now the dragons are attacking everywhere. So, I think it's... Yeah, I don't know, maybe. Maybe I buy that. Who else gains from that but the Thalmor? So we need to find out the Thalmor know any ideas, and we can get into their embassy. So that's the goal: is to get in their embassy. The problem is that place is locked up tighter than a miser's purse. They could teach me a few things about paranoia. How do we get in? I'm not sure yet. I have a few ideas, but I'll need some time to pull things together. 
Meet me back in Riverwood. If I keep an eye on the sky. All right. It's only going to get so we have talked to Delphine. We've completed a Blade in the Dark, 135 XP, level 19. So that's awesome. And then the net and a ton of cash in our backpack because we have, um, and and the next mission is diplomatic immunity, and of course we can go return the horn to our uh, Arn gear. So I think we are going to do those things. We will definitely do them either off camera if it's just return. Um, and then we have stuff to sell, of course, and so on. So we do have a lot of crap to do. Let's quickly look at our level up. So you'll see our stats currently. Now this is with the blessing of Mephalo. Spider queen of the dark elves? I mean, I am a dark elf, so I'm all in. Um, and... I feel really bad with a magic of 120, but I think we're sticking with it because as long as it's enough to pull the bow, I think we're good. I think that's almost all we need to do. Um, so I think stamina is still where we're pushing. And I do think, don't get me wrong, I do think that ultimately I do want to go up to 75 because I want the better... I want I want all this, so I do think that ultimately we're getting to seventy five. Um, but I did want to get stealth up and pick uh, not pickpocketing, not picking up because a it'd be nice to get the better picks, and b I think we're doing the thieves guild, so I do want to do the thieves guild also, and uh, some stealth I think is going to be required for that, so. So, I think that is the end of episode 20. We ended with um we ended with a dead dragon. So that is where we're going to save. That's where we're going to thank you for watching and hanging out. Please comment uh you know, or subscribe if you haven't already. Um if you have any tips, fire them on in the comments. I'm always up for more tips since I don't know a ton about um, Requiem and the quest lines and so on. If you have a quest line that I should be doing, tell me all that stuff. Otherwise, thanks a lot. I appreciate it. And I will talk to you all. Um, I'll talk to you all later.